from Thomas Penny with Bloomberg from Yahoo.com, Boris Johnson under pressure to be more open on virus strategy. Pressure mounted on Boris Johnson to be more open about his coronavirus strategy as a panel of lawmakers called on his government to publish the scientific advice find Britain's response to the pandemic. Now, why am I sharing this story in particular? Well, there's so many other stories I could be sharing about coronaphobia from around the world. Well, first of all, what we are being told from governments around the world is that you have to trust the science. Anybody who doesn't do what we say is anti-science and doesn't believe the science. And really, those Luddites are putting your lives at risk. And you need to make sure that we're scientific and we believe the science and we trust the scientists because science, because science says so. So science. Oh, you want to know what science we're talking about? Uh, well, we're doing the deliberations in secret and, and we can't show you the science because this is secret science. And that's the most important kind of science to obey is that when we have secret government science, you have to trust that science more than anything else. And in case you were wondering, the science is settled. Scientific opinion is overwhelming. All of the scientists agree. Uh, which scientists? Uh, the ones who are working for us in secret. And therefore, you have to do what the scientists say because they're working for us. And we get the best science out of scientists working for us in secret. And if you don't do what we say, you're anti-science. Why do you hate people? Why do you hate science? Well, why do you hate America? How dare you question our science? We have the best science that money can buy, literally, because we print all the money and it's science. And therefore, you have to believe in the science. And if you don't do what we say, you're anti-science. OK, I'll stop there. The prime minister also faced calls for transparency from thousands of teachers who joined an online meeting to demand clarity over plans to reopen schools in England next month. Greater openness will help maintain public support as the UK eases its lockdown. The House of Commons Science Committee said in a letter to the Prime Minister Tuesday, so far only 28 out of 122 papers consulted by the UK Scientific Advisory Group for Emergencies have been published. Secret science. Really? And, and you go, well, why, 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 why can't they just publish the science? Why can't, why can't they just be open? Why can't they be honest about it? Because they're freaking lying. They're li They're manipulating you with lies calling it science saying this well this works so this works no anytime someone says you have to trust our science but it's secret guess what you shouldn't trust them is it really that complicated the str so from greg clark who's chairman of the committee and a member of, of johnson's conservative party said the strength of british science and the prominent role that scientific advice has played during the pandemic can be important an important source of public confidence Without visibility of the scientific advice, it will be difficult to corroborate the government's assertion that it always follows the scientific advice. It never does. What's the science that government follows? The science of power, how to increase their power. How do you increase power? By making people confused because then they're scared and then they're vulnerable. The more confused, the more scared, the more vulnerable, the better you can take advantage of them and rip them off on behalf of your corporate sponsors. It's true in the UK as it is in the, in the United States, as it is with governments all over the world. You would have transparency if they weren't trying to take advantage of you. The secrecy is the dead giveaway. How do they get away with this? FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And really, this goes to the bigger FUD of the entire government racket. Because if you were to ask scientifically, do we need government? Do we need violent people forcing their will on us from a far off capital? I mean, yeah, we need systems of social organization, but they, they could be voluntary, right? They don't have to. Why do we? Why do we, well, gee, I guess if we ask science, we don't need secrecy. We don't need violent, coercive governments. We don't need this racket at all. And the science can be used to cut through the fear and uncertainty and doubt, which says be afraid and turn to the authorities because according to their science, you need government.